Back on Earth, you were gone for millions of years. Every trace of you erased by evolution and weather. Maybe no humans remain. Maybe no Earth remains. You left the world you knew and returned to one that can't even remember you. That's what traveling near light speed really means. It's not just a trick of physics. It's a one-way ticket into the deep future. A way to skip ahead through history while your own clock barely ticks. A traveler's dream and a human tragedy. You'd be both explorer and ghost. A visitor to a time where everything you loved is gone and everything familiar is ancient dust. You'd see the future, but you could never share it with the past. And yet, there's beauty in that thought because it reminds us how fragile and precious our little slice of time is. We don't need to travel near light speed to feel how fast everything moves. Look around, children growing, cities changing, stars dying quietly overhead. Relativity isn't just about rockets and equations. It's about what it means to live inside time. Einstein showed that space and time are the same fabric. Stretch one, and you stretch the other. And in a way, that means every moment we live leaves a permanent thread in that fabric. Unrepeatable, but real. So maybe the real paradox isn't that time slows down when you move. It's that we move through time at all. Always forward, never back. Every second, light speed or not. And if you could see that from above, if you could watch humanity's brief spark from the edge of the galaxy, you might realize something. We already are travelers through space-time, just very slow ones.